At the heart of access is a core belief that all children deserve an equal opportunity to achieve their full potential. But as we know, that's not always the case. And so what is at the heart of access is to provide a safe space, a safe haven for that to happen. My first memory of Anna was uh, actually the van rides coming to and from the school. She was one of the shorter girls who was really good at squash, but she was really fast. So even though she was short, she was still good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I just remember Chewie. Chewie was always like super fit. I remember thinking like he would always hit the ball super hard, and I was like, I can't do that. But I, I always remember him being a really good squash player. Like he would play one or two in teams. The journey through Axis has been interesting. You basically appreciate everything that Renato and the staff do for you. It's a big community and you kind of grow to appreciate that and you just, you just want to stick with the program more and more. What's so unique about Axis is its highly individualized approach. At the same time, it's the length of the approach. It's the 12-year promise. I remember my first year in college, like, I thought it was really hard because, like, no one in my family had been to college, so I didn't have, like, help on that side. So I remember, like, I talked to Renato, like, I'm homesick, I'm having a hard time here. And he, he actually said, he like, do you want me to fly out there? And I was like, you don't have to do that. But, like, I appreciated him just, like, talking me through it and just saying, like, everything's going to be okay. Like, if you need anything, like, I'll go over there and help you. Every year, whether it's during the summer, or Christmas holidays, spring breaks, we always have some of our kids who are in college or now out of college, but they're back home and saying, oh, I want to drop in, but not just to say hello, to really make a difference and really coach and learn and help kids learn and give them confidence. That is sort of magic in a bottle, you know, the thought that kids who've gone through the program, like Anna, have such a feeling of connection and appreciation, they want to give back directly to the program. That's wonderful. I decided to be a mentor because I, I love access. I always want to give back and now that like I started working, I wanted to find a way to still give back even like if I couldn't always be there to do like tutoring or stuff like that, I thought being a mentor was a good idea. Um, so with Angelina, like we've gone out to the mall, we go out to eat and we just like talk about what's going on in school. Um, she's in ASB and she always talks to me about like the things that she's planning and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like I was in ASB, I was doing the same things and it, it's just fun talking to someone that's going through it, through something that you already did and just helping them through it if they have any questions. I wasn't the greatest student growing up, you know, I'd always like sports and want to be in them, but you know, I always academics come first. However, I would stay able to grind and put in that effort and then finally go through college and then once I was complete with college then I feel like that really set an example for my little brother and then right now uh, looking at his grades he's rocking close to like that 4.0 and that just makes me that makes me proud of him but also uh, you, you kind of like you set the bar but you feel that your brother will hopefully one day surpass that bar and I like the way it's going so far. You know, now that it's been 13 years, to see a, a core belief that we all passionately felt about actually happening and to see the products of that is extraordinarily gratifying and confidence building because we know we're on a path that's now had 13 years of success and the examples are all around us and we're really excited about our future. We hope you'll come be part of that.